What's happening everybody? This is Ty Controller and you are watching Into the Spider Base. So I know you're wondering like what is the Spider Base? Well first of all it's a base that I built um, from a um, beat down Geo GSR 205B. So um, what I wanted to do was kind of give you a comparison of what it sounds like uh, and kind of explain what the base is. So I'm going to start with this. This is going to be our control. So this is my Ibanez. Um, this is the SR405 uh, Dragon Eye. I think that's what they call it. The What we're going to use this base for is to kind of do a, a comparison in the sound quality of the spider bass and I'll give you a quick peek of the spider bass so here's the spider bass so the spider bass is a multi-scale and that's what I wanted to have was a multi-scale bass so I'm going to uh, put this to the side and again I am going to um, use this as a quick uh, demo so I um, bought this base and while I was waiting for them to bring it, you know, it gets delivered to the store. While I was waiting for them to bring it out, they had that um, Ibanez uh, Fan Fret base. And I put, I, I think I, I told them, let me see the six string. Um, but, you know, the frets are, are angled um, because of the different scales of each string. And, and I'm like, this thing looks a little intimidating to play. But no, it wasn't. I, I played it. But what was intimidating was the price. I'm like, I'm not spending $1,000 on the bass because I, I only play, um, really, I play at church. And I, I play just to p play. Um, I have an Ibanez Soundwave 35, 35-watt 35 amp. And um, bass is at 12 o'clock or the bass is detent. The um, mids are slightly um, pulled back, and I have the treble all the way off. I I don't use a lot of treble because it's a bass, okay? Um, so what I wanted to do was come through this one because this one is Ibanez straight out of factory. It is active. I built the active bass over there, and this one has uh, bass, mids, treble. Um, and this has this three the switch one is a series one is a parallel and then one is like just a full humbucker so let's just and I'm gonna go um, um, I'm going to do three demos well I'm just gonna play this one so you can hear how loud it is versus the one I built so you can hear a comparison how loud so it's on full blast. Blend is straight in the middle. Everything is flat or is that detent. simple so that is the output of this bass straight out of factory I had it on uh, full with, with flat um, and so here's the spider bass so I'm gonna just play it real quick so you can just hear the the output got it full blast and I'm just gonna do So, so pretty much um, these pickups are some just Chinese pickups, and the pickups were, um, I think they were like twelve and a half uh, resistance. So the pickups, the output of the pickups are a hair 
less than the Ibanez pickups, which are their humbuckers too. So let's um, kind of go through what this actually is. So this is what I call into the spider base. And so let me take the strap off. I want to talk real fast. So this this video is just going to be a explanation of what the base is. So this is a uh, modified uh, G Ibanez Geo GSR 205B from 2005. So what I did was I um, when I got the base scarf joint was messed up. Uh, it totally separated from probably heat. I bought the base for $25. I uh, installed a new fretboard, um, new frets, a new nut, pickups, a Tone Monster preamp, coil tapping toggle switches, a new output jack, and um, new, new bridge saddles, as well as battery. So, oh, and I made that too. So that was the little uh, compartment. So in a nutshell, um, I paid $25 for the base. When I got through putting everything together, it was uh, cost about $205. I think I, I have, it, um, have it all worked out. So, um, oh, and yeah, so, I also had to put truss rod in there, but this is what was a project. I, I wanted a, a uh, multi-scale base or fan fret. I didn't was not going to pay a thousand dollars or nine hundred dollars. So I paid 200 bucks for mine and built it uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos. And this, it, you know, this thing works great bridge. So I'm just going to go down The bridge is actually a um, hex nut that I sawed off that I cut and filed down for the strings to fit in so the action is very low my B string could come down just a little bit so I'm going to do that when I do some um, refining to the uh, guitar the um, um, fretboard this is the second fretboard, the first one I tore up using my trim router, trying to be super cool. So I cut this one out using a jigsaw and just sanded it um, to, the, uh, the, to the neck. The neck was put back together with my scarf joint and that's totally uh, flat. Um, and I have, I documented everything um, in a nice PowerPoint that I'm going to put out there as well. So the frets are jumbo frets that I um, put in, um, that I bought eight feet of pre-coil wire and I cut the frets and just followed a lot of the videos and um, got the sides, the insides of the sides prepared to be seated. Um, I used a uh, coping saw to cut my fret slots. The fret markers are actually from a Warwick. So I had already finished the base and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna put it together. And I'm like, I forgot fret markers. Or, or I, I was kind of arrogant, oh, I don't need those. Yeah, I, I kind of need them a little bit. The old fretboard was damaged. So let me see if I can maybe pop those things out. They come out so easy with, uh, I had like a little pick. Um, it's like a thing what you start holes with you, you know the hole punch those things pop right out so pickups again the this originally had jazz style pickups those were taken out carved new spaces with my router at that time and uh pop new pickups in here the fretboard let me talk about the fretboard the original fretboard um stops probably a, probably a half an inch um earlier than than the, where I have it and it was like 22 fret so I extended it to 23 I mean to 24 fret so it was a full two octave the um, I used a uh, template online it was a 
a website you go to and you put the numbers in and it gave you the actual fret markers and where the position the bridge and you just had to know bridge spacing as well as spacing at the nut and the only other thing that I did was with the um, humbuckers I wanted to to do a coil split where I can use either north or south or both um, and so I, I added the coil tapping um, with these three-way switches right here and we're going to we'll demo all of that later the other thing that I wanted to tell you was this <coughs> this is an older base and so what I was trying to achieve and I said trying what I was trying to achieve was a 34 to 32 inch scale so that means this string the longest string would have been 34 inches from nut to bridge and this one would have been 32 so when I was trying to do the intonation my spacing was off so I had to intonate each string um, well the first two were fine the last three I had to intonate those individually so I um, had to reposition the saddles and by repositioning the saddles my string is now 35 and a half so it is longer than 34 which gives it way more sustained uh, and is way deeper than my stock 34 and my shortest uh, string is 32 uh, like and three quarters it was almost 33 so we're almost we're almost at like 36 30 33 so that's pretty cool um, I, I originally wanted it to be about that size because the the Ibanez website when you buy that fan fret it is about 34 um, I mean it is uh, 35 and a half so I did achieve a, a longer B string than, than normal. Um, so that was something that I learned um, in case I wanted to build a guitar from scratch. I would have a wider, longer body so I can have maybe a longer scale. So that was um, cool. Now on the back, oh, and this is a Tone Monster S SBK3A, it, it's active. So it has uh, volume, blend, bass, treble, and this mid is stacked where you can select a, f a frequency. I think it's, if I go all the way to the left, it's 800. If I go all the way to the right, it's either 1,000 or 1,200. And then you can go plus or minus uh, where you can cut or boost. So um, long story short, the Tone Monster sounds great. The cut and boost for mid and treble, they're okay. They're not like super, you don't really notice a, it uh, a lot. It's, it's subtle, but it's effective. Um, you can hear the difference when I cut and boost. And real quick, um, this is how you kind of think problem solve. This bass was originally a... Uh, passive so I had to make it active but guess what where was I gonna put the battery because with these angle pickups I really didn't have too much area over here to put the battery because then I would be really carving out um, some space so I chose to move the battery over here by um, um, kind of carving a little trench and running a battery wire here and then I covered the base so the base is actually covered with um, printed art of spider-man into the spider-verse so this is just um, laser paper laser prints and I use Mod Podge which is a this is called decoupage so I use Mod Podge you put some that you put some Mod Podge you put the picture you paint the Mod Podge on top and then it, it um, adheres to the wood and it also seals the wood. So I did that on the front, I did that on the back, and I did that on the neck. 
So this guitar is very unique um, with Into the Spider-Verse images. So I just dubbed it Into the Spider Bass. So the um, that's pretty much it um, with Into the Spider Bass. So let's take a listen to some demos. Now I'm going to leave this flat. My bass is what they call D10 or it's, it's just flat. Uh, so I got flat bass. Uh, flat mids and flat um, treble and I just found out that my bass was all the way off so my volume might even be louder and let, let's see it's about the same so my volume is actually probably identical to this bass but these are $16 pickups and those might be 17 I don't know so let's go through some tones. So um, I'm going to uh, just jam out for a little bit and play and I'll switch and you'll see what I'm doing. Uh, I have a graphic on, uh, on screen.
right, so that's it. That's the demo of the Spider Bass. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's a little boring playing the same lick over and over again, but um, I just wanted something simple so that you can hear the difference in tone. So, uh, and all of those tones that I've played, I think probably 12, maybe 13, 14 different tones all come from just the switches and the position of the pickup that's on. So we started with the neck, then I went to the bridge, then I went to the blend. Um, and of course, you know, you just dial in any um, tone that you want. Um, and the reason why I did that was I just want to be able to have more tones uh, without having to play around with bass mids and trebles and things like that. So that's pretty much um, the uh, demo. Um, please let me know what you thought about it. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm be doing a whole bunch of other videos like this. Um, everything music, all things music, Ty Controller. Thank you so much and I'm out.